Hey guys, today I will show you some tips for Elsu, a fatal marksman in Dragonland. Unlike other marksman, Elsu has a unique mechanism. His skill too can deal a great amount of damage and poke longest range, allowing you to experience the pressure of headshots. Before we start, let's see Elsu's skills. Passive skill Stark. Elsu's normal attack deals 180% of AD physical damage, but his attack speed rate is low and he's unable to critically hit. Each 1% crit rate Elsu gains is converted into 3 attack damage. While not in combat, Elsu can harness 2 obstacles and gain 16% to 30% movement speed, depending on his level. His passive brings him great normal attack deal, converting crit rate into physical attack which enables Elsu to attempt higher attack by accumulating crit rate. This attack bonus benefits Elsu with higher damage of both normal attack and skills. Besides talking to the enemy quietly when close to the edge of the terrain, Elsu can do explosive damage or real low blood heroes. Skill 1, Sentinel. Elsu places a monitoring device granting visibility. Up to 3 monitoring devices can be placed. Passive, Elsu gains armor pierce when not moving, if that removed if he moves. Skill 1 can broaden Elsu vision to avoid long distance consumption. Reasonable arrangement for the monitoring device of Skill 1 can prevent him from being ganked by the enemy heroes. It should be noted that when the monitoring device is placed in the grass, the enemy cannot detect it without entering it. When deploying the device, avoid overlapping the range of two devices to maximize the available vision. Elsu's passive skill of skill 1 allows him to attain physical penetration without moving. When attacking the enemy with normal attack or sniping of skill 2, do not move randomly and stalk to increase the damage. Skill 2, snipe. Elsu aims and snipes at the target, dealing physical damage and inflicting slow. Elsu's skill 2 boasts high damage and long sniping range, but it needs preparation to aim, so you should try to wait till the end is completed before releasing skill 2 to avoid the bullet falling. Else skill 2 will have a red line of the sight that can be seen by the enemy when aiming. When releasing, you can aim backward at the hidden aim line. After aiming, you can adjust the direction to release the skill to avoid the enemy's vigilance. When Nels is near or close to the enemy's target, the skill 2 can hit the enemy without aiming and instant releasing. Skill 3, Disengage. Elsu leaps backward and fires in the target direction, dealing damage and reducing the target's movement speed. After landing, Elsu gains movement speed and this effect is cancelled when he uses skills or attacks. Elsu's skill 3 is a life-saving one. When enemy heroes approaching, he can leap backward and create a safe distance and quickly leave the battlefield with a short acceleration after landing. Of course, you can also release a skill 3 in reverse to chase the enemy, shooting and killing the enemy with living backward. A qualified sniper must master the trend of the battlefield to complete the deadly snipe, therefore else skill 1 is the core and main one, and the scope of vision attempt will expand with the upgrade of skill level. Here are some important positions you can place the device. A early game at the channels opening from the bar lane to the mid lane, place a monitoring device in each of the two grass bushes, and another one is placed at the bottom of the grass next to the enemy's blue buff. Thus, the three first class monitoring devices can cover all the enemy's mid lane and the jungler's support rules. After Tower 1 of a Pixel Dragon Land is pushed down, when Elsu goes to the mid lane, he can place a monitoring device in a single grass of the river, which completely covers the road that the river must pass through. Between the Tower 1 and the Tower 2 of the enemy's mid lane, there is grass bush on both sides of the jungle. These two places can control the enemy's movement in the enemy's jungles if placed with the monitoring device. When our side has an advantage, two monitoring devices can be placed close to the wall of the highland before attacking the highland to compress the enemy's defensive space. When we are at a disadvantage, we will choose to place the monitoring device in the jungle and abyssal dragon land and dark slayer for defense. World preparation recommendation. Preparation methods. 
Reduce attributes by stacking skill cooling. Speed up the cooling speed of the skill 2 and adopt the skill 2 sniping more frequently to deal high damage. Meanwhile, accumulating the crit rate and increase the damage of the skill 2 through the mechanism of the converting crit rate into physical attack. Item recommendation Flashy Boost, Mirror Massa, Fenrir's Tooth, Clave Senti. Combination of the 40% physical penetration of Muramasa and Stalking, the enemy's armor is almost invalid because Elsu's bullets are as terrible as armor piercing projectile. The frame rear's tooth can increase attack by 200 points at the same time. The passive army breaking effect will cause more terrible damage when reaping enemies with raw less than 50%. In addition to the bonus of 300 points of attack power, the three Clave Senti also have a 75% critical hit probability attribute. Through Su's passive skills, they can be converted into an additional 225 points of attack power. If they hit the enemy with one shot, they can hit tons of damage, which is not less powerful than the Barret. Arcana recommendation Skewer 10, Onslaught 10, Assassinate 10, Arcana attribute 100 points of physical penetration, 10% movement speed, and 45 points of physical attack. Enchantment system recommendation for primary mystery, low camp, raising inferno, deadly claw, and curse of death. For secondary mystery, Vida Scale B, Vida Holy Verdict. Practical ideas. Learn skill 2 first at the beginning and save 3 bullets. While online, use passive skill of stock to ambush the enemy and release the skill 2 as close as possible to consume the enemy's blood. If the skill 2 hit 3 times, you can basically win the first blood. After upgrading the level 2, learn skill 1 and reasonably arrange vision devices to ensure safety and development. After suppressing the enemies in the early game, quickly clear waves. Push down the enemy's defense tower by using L to hide normal attack damage, and then transfer to other branches to support teammates to help the team advance quickly. Before the mid and late game of the group battle starting, you can use the skill to lower the enemy's blood remotely to win an advantage for in group battle. If we can continuous hit or even the rally snipe the enemy's key output back, we will come to win the group battle. After the bullets start by the skill 2 are consumed, use the normal attack to continue dealing damage. When the enemy is close, use the big move to escape and ensure our own safety. As an equipped sniper hidden in the dark, Elsu is a nightmare for the enemy. The enemy will know when a powerful and terrible bullet will fall and read their life. After mastering this hero, Elsu is a very terrible suppressive force in the bot lane. However, depending on the grade the hit rate of the skill 2, you should practice more to become a sharpshooter in the battle. What heroes do you want to learn? Welcome to comment and follow me to learn more about AOV.